garbage can that no one understands. Mom and Dad and Vicky always giving him commands. Yeah, twerp! Doom and gloom up in his room. It's broken instantly. Finds magic little fish and grab his every wish. Cause in reality, they are his odd parents, fairly odd parents. Wands and wings! Floaty crowny thing! Odd parents, fairly odd parents. Future Crime Stopper, tell me your name and I'll sign this photo of me as TV's Catman. I don't want your autograph. I don't want... Help! A cry for help. This looks like a job for... Catman. Here you go. Ah, these prices are a crime! Wow! <laughs> Did somebody say crime? I hope you know a good lawyer. Your Honor, I wish my client Catman was not guilty! Tell me I don't know how you do it. I guess the world doesn't need crime fighters with colorful costumes anymore. <laughs> and your colorful costume! Here comes the Crimson Chin! Your heavy metal household weaponry will never wipe away justice from this city, Iron Maiden! Yay, hey, Crimson Chin! Wow, they sure love their colorful crime fighters in the Crimson Chin's webtoon. But not in Dimsdale! Adam sure seemed upset outside the courthouse! Yeah, and he's still upset! Timmy, what'll I do all day if I can't fight crime? I can't lick the spoons clean at the dairy whip. That would be unsanitary. Yay, Crimson Chin! Hey, I know a place that would love a fantastic feline crime fighter like yourself. Cat-tastic! How do we get there? Can I borrow your catnap spray? <laughs> I wish we were in the Crimson Chin's webtoon. Where am I? Hey, I know you. You're Clef the Boy Chin Wonder. Have you seen my youthful pal, Timmy? Catman, it's me, Timmy! Timmy! Ah, thank heavens, I... Clef, thank heavens. Timmy's missing, and I don't know where to... <laughs> Dogs! Cats are as scared of dogs! Relax! That's Clefto and Ace! Cat-friendly and faithful canine sidekicks of the one and only Crimson Chin! So, you want me to take a vacation and let Catman fight crime here in my webtoon? Well, I could use a break from my never-ending battle for justice! <laughs> It is I, H2 Olga. Get set to get down to Crimson Chin. Your days of crime are dried up. Super absorbent cat litter with deodorizing crystals? No! No! Yay, Catman! Catman, I leave Chinsonetti in your very capable hands. Pause. I have pause because I'm part cat. Whatever. Aloha! <laughs> Okay, everybody, there's a new superhero in town, and his name is Catman. I just wish Timmy were here to see this. Timmy! Ha ha ha! The 
Admiral's secret recipe. Crimson Chan! Perfect. <laughs> now, now, remember I drink my milk just like you, on my knees lapping it from a bowl next to the refrigerator. So, you ready to go home now? Are you insane? No, wait, that's me. I'm never leaving! And if you're going to be my sidekick, whoever you are, you're gonna need a new secret identity. Wee wee kitty boy! I knew you'd love it! And look, you come with your own fluffy cycle. <clears throat> and check out the fearsome wee wee kitty horn. Love me! That's it! I'm stopping this right now! Ace, Klefto, I wish... Hey! Where are Ace and Klefto? Uh, the mangy mongrels. I locked them away in my super liquid laser dog crate, accessible only through a super secret cat password. But Jin isn't gonna like this. Here comes the Crimson Jin! What in the name of all things mandibular is going on here? Jin, I can explain! No need, boo boo cuddly boy! It looks like somebody's gotten too big for his whiskers. Uh, your standard hero versus hero combat rules. Loser leaves town forever? You got it. Let's take this outside. We are outside. You win round one, Chin. But let's see how you handle round two. Nice snappy hero banter, me? I like to chin provide. One problem with ad living, what do you do when the cat's got your tongue? Get it? Three, two, one, you're out! Catman wins! Easy, citizens, I'm just like you. I too go to the bathroom in a box in the corner of the laundry room. Okay, kitty, kitty, bang, bang. I lost fair and square. If this town wants a cat-based hero instead of a chin-based one, I won't argue. Hey, do you have 50 cents in that girly, girly outfit? Oh, my gosh. He's so upset he forgot he could fly off in a huff. Oh, man, I've got to get Cosmo and Wanda free and fix his wish. But first, I gotta climb this really big windy hill. Almost there. Yep, still climbing. Here I go. A super secret password, huh? What password would somebody as deep and complicated as Catman choose as his password? C A T. Let me guess. We need to create a super villain that will get the Chin and Catman on the same crime fighting team. Something Catman can't stop alone. Something he hates and that'll need the Chin's help to defeat. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? You're, You're thinking? thinking? Yeah, I was thinking big mechanical dog. Big, big mechanical, mechanical dog? dog? Evil robot villain. You're not welcome here. Ah, nice doggy. No, nice big robot doggy that I'm scared of. Now, let's see what Dogzilla has in his utility belt. And the only thing cats hate more than fleas is a bath. Must lick self dry. Uh, might take a while. Wow! Look at all the places he can reach with his cat tongue. So when does the chin come in? Right about now. I don't 
understand it! What else can I do to make this beast heal? Perhaps teamwork, but I can't do it. I'm as scared of dogs! Right! Because dogs chase cats! Quick, Catman! Run, run to the park! Like the little kitten you are! <laughs> Catman doesn't like this plan. But Dogzilla will love this! Here, boy! <laughs> Fetch! <laughs> I don't understand it. They shunned you and you came back anyway. That's because great heroes don't fight for fame or adulation. Here you go. <laughs> you fight for justice. And that's why I need to go back to the place that shunned me and save it from crime, whether they want me to or not. And they don't. For whenever someone in Dimsdale calls for help but doesn't want me to help them, I will answer that call anyway. And then I'll call Timmy. Your Honor, I wish my client Catman was not guilty. Timmy, I don't know how you do it. I wish Cleft were here to see this. Cleft! to get to Adrenaland early to get that perfect parking space. Hey, Dinkelberg, there's a bug on your nose. Someone in Ark? Well, this park is great. That hurt. I told you leaving early was a great idea. This is the best parking spot we've ever gotten at Adrenaland. And there's the heart stopper, the tallest, fastest, and most lawsuit prone roller coaster in the world. Okay, but remember, we meet here at exactly five o'clock or... Wow, he never moves that fast when it's time for chores. Ah, uh, ma'am, did you lose your child? They can help you over here. But we didn't lose our child. That's the password. Welcome! Gosh, it's a kidless adult paradise! Hey, that's great! We can use that as our slogan! Cheers! Air condition, go ahead. High blood pressure, right this way. This is gonna be great! I can't wait to ride this ride! You can't ride this ride! What? You're way too small. But don't worry, kids. There's plenty of exciting rides for kids your size, like the snail go round. We. Or it's a dull world. Yay! Oh. oh man, this reeks. <laughs> this so does not reek. That's a great slogan too. Losing our son was the best thing that ever happened to us. We have a son? Give it up, Timmy. By my calculations, none of us will be tall enough to ride that ride until we're 16 years old. Good thing we brought our emergency tall kid kit. Cool! We're adult-sized! 
Now what? Now you come with me. Because you just lost your son. We... I, I didn't lose my son. And that's the password. <laughs> Chester? AJ? Oh, great. Now I'm too short and there's nobody else around to be miserable with me. Not true. Look, I'm everybody's favorite waste-filtering organ, Kenny Kidney. And I'm, uh... Penny Pancreas! And I need to get tall enough to get on that ride! And I am not waiting until puberty! I wish I had the body of a 16-year-old! One gross spurt coming up! Cool! I've got the brain of a 10-year-old and a 16-year-old body! You know what that means? You're a supermodel? Yep, and it's time to ride some rides. And count some of those new hairs on your chin. Yay! It's our favorite waste filtering organ, Kenny Kidney! Yay! What about me? I'm a pancreas. Yeah, right. You're not even a vital organ. My dad had you removed at age 32. You can be removed. Were we supposed to meet Timmy, Chester, and AJ? Five o'clock. Ooh, you dropped your mustache. I got it. Tall boy coming through. Ten new hairs. Here I come. Obviously meeting all height requirements. Great. I need a single rider. Oh man, this is awesome. Hey, cutie. What's your name? Ga. Ga. What kind of name is Ga? Ga. Oh, it's a uh, nor. Norwegian? Hmm, Norwegian, hunky. <gasps> Are you a Norwegian supermodel? Uh, I guess. <laughs> Those are the top two requirements for my dream man! Oh, God! I'm never letting you out of my sight! How do you say I love you in Norwegian? Help? <laughs> I love your accent. It's Norwegian-licious! Hang on to me tight, God! Are you nuts? Why would I hang on to you? Ah, my safety belt! Yeah! Ah! Clear! So, Ga, do you, uh, want to ride it again? Help! I love you, too! Pink hat on a kid? Ew! Buck teeth and pink hat on a Norwegian male supermodel? Yay! <laughs> Cosmo, Wanda, help me! Vicky won't leave me alone! I can't have any more fun! I wish I wasn't 16 anymore! Yeah, and I wish I wasn't stuck in this stupid kidney suit. But we can't all be Norwegian male supermodels, now can we? Yeah! <laughs> It's gonna be so fun. Yeah, for me. If I can't shake her loose, maybe I can smash her loose. Ah, uh, Mr. Ga, would you mind if I took your picture and then sold it on the internet? No thanks. I have my own. <laughs> Ga, will you sign this calendar I bought off the internet? I have a calendar? <laughs> Stop flirting with him. He's mine! Did you hear? Gaz in the park! No way. Wow, uh, you really seem to have a knot here. Uh, sure you don't want to take off your coat? Uh... Children! We've got a runner in Quadrant 7. The old fake mustache sit on each other's shoulders hiding a trench coat trick. Okay, time to go back to the other park and find your kids. No! No, please! Did we mention Ga is in the park? Ah! Ga? He's Norwegian-licious! I've gone Gaga over Ga! Ga! Playing hard to get only makes me want you more! Oh, man! 
It's almost five. I gotta find Cosmo and Wanda. Cosmo! Wanda! Oh, I don't believe it. It's Go! Will you sign my kidney stones? Finally! You gotta help me! Vicky's fallen for the 16-year-old me! And everybody thinks I'm a hunky Norwegian male supermodel! Help! Well, we can't exactly change you back right here where everyone can see us. Well, we need to find someplace quick before... There you are! Too late. <laughs> we still have time for one more ride together. The marriage go round! I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. Wait! A ride? That's it! Let's go on that one! <gasps> oh, God! We know you won't. Because if you do, you won't get to keep these. It's Ga, the talking Scandinavian super doll. I have a calendar? Deal! I just love the tunnel of love. It's so nice and dark. Yep, the perfect place to make a wish. Or smooch. Right. Mm. What? Thanks! <laughs> what did you do with Ga? Uh, he had to go back to... Norwegia? Norwegia? I'm coming, Ga! <laughs> Time to go meet my parents! <laughs> I can't believe we missed Ga! I blame you! <sighs> Timmy, I hope you learned a lesson that being tall... Yeah, yeah, doesn't make me a better person, I know. Just dreamier. <laughs> what a day! I got to ride the Heartstopper, experience puberty, and get rid of Vicky. I wonder where she is. Ah, where are you? I've lost my supermodel! And that's the password. <laughs> <laughs> suddenly got a new job in New Zealand and she had to move. Ah, an excellent plan, Timmy. But what did New Zealand do to you? Look out! Someone's coming! Change into something inconspicuous! Oh, boy! Face cake! Ah! Cosmo, you need to be more careful about what you change into. Uh, I know. It's a good thing my scream spoiled his appetite. <laughs> Cosmo, what's wrong with you? Nothing. Ow! Oh, yeah? <laughs> Why aren't you a goldfish? Ah, goldfish are so last week. Jackhammers are all the rage! Ow! Don't lie to me! Lie? What are you talking about? <laughs> Why do you keep changing into the wrong things? Cosmo, are you having problems with your you-know-what? <laughs> no, my figiggly gland is fine. No, it's not. Cosmo's figiggly gland is far from fine. What's a figiggly hooey? The figiggly gland. The special magical organ in a fairy's body that allows us to change shape. Dr. Rip Studwell, is Cosmo sick? Let me put this to you in terms Cosmo could understand. Yes! <laughs> oh no! If I can't disguise myself anymore, my days as a godparent are over. I'll have to go back to my old job. Cosmo, I've got good news and bad news. The good news is I'm due to tee off at 2.30. Uh, hello? Bad news? 
Oh, right, the part about you. The bad news is there's only one treatment for forgiggly gland failure. A forgiggly transplant. But Cosmo is an only child! Where are we gonna find a donor? Welcome to Fury World Maximum Security Prison! It is here where we house Fury World's most dangerous, villainous, and smelliest criminals! You will notice we have equipped all of our prisoners with anti-flight and magic uniforms. They prevent magic and are both form-fitting and slimming. It's true, y'all. Check me out. I look like one of them teeny little runway models. Sitting for my teeth. I am the fact that I'm eating food. Anti-Wanda. Hey, it's your opposite anti-fairy. Yes. This is where we keep the truly evil prisoners, like him, Anti-Cosmo. Hello, Clarice. Who's Clarice? Ah, so sorry. Can't see a thing without my monocle. I don't like this. Anti-Cosmo is the opposite of Cosmo. Smart, evil, smart. Relax, child. I know you're here because Cosmo's figgy gland is going bad. How do you know that? Because I'm the opposite of you, Cosmo, you ignorant boob, and my figgy gland is going good. Move! My days as an anti-fairy are coming to an end. Our only chance is for Jorgen to let me out of here so Dr. Rip Studwell can transplant our figgy glands into each other. Really? It is all up to me? Let me see. I don't like you, and I don't like you. <laughs> and stay out! I guess it's back to my old, unmentionably horrible job. Not so fast, Cosmo. If Jorgen won't let Anti-Cosmo out, we'll bust him out. But, Timmy, Fairy World Prison is escape-proof. Ha! That's what they said about the Anti-Fairy Zone. And I got Anti-Cosmo out of there, didn't I? That was by accident, and it's the very reason they built this new prison. To keep evil geniuses in. Then what we need is something subtle. And most of all, quiet. <laughs> This is subtle and quiet, how? I can't hear you! I'm sticking up on the prison! What's he saying? Ah, uh, I love you too! <laughs> what? We're gonna use it to tunnel under the walls and get Anti-Cosmo out! Tunnel? Wait, no! <laughs> ah! We were on a cloud, you idiots! What? Bright ideas? Yep. This prison track meet is bound to work. Yeah, they'll never expect prisoners to run away during a prison track meet. Ha! <laughs> oh, look, there is Anti Cosmo about to do the pole vault. Tally ho! Suckers! Oh! You know, for an evil genius, you'd have thought he'd have taken the time to measure that stick. Why didn't you? Stupid! Remember? Stupid! Time for plan C! Maybe Anti-Cosmo can't fly, but we can! Yeah! This plan is perfect! And now it's not! Cosmo, you ignorant boob! Ah! Ah, you ignorant boobs! You got so pathetic! <laughs> pathetic fairies! Hello? It's me, Dr. Rip Studwell, with bad news and good news. The bad news is if we don't do the Figigli transplant soon, it's going to be too late. What's the good news? I'm three under par after nine holes! See? At least one of us is happy! Oh, what are we gonna do? We're almost out of time! Hey, this is a diagram and an escape plan. Is it from Anti-Cosmo? Let me check. Dear morons, yes, this escape plan is for me, Anti-Cosmo, evil genius. So, who's it from? This plan is brilliant! Well, he is the Anti-Cosmo. Uh, what does that make me? Hurry up! So 
Mr. Big Tooth Laundry Man and Hairy Lipped Laundry Woman, are you ready to leave with your load of laundry? Yeah, you bet. So, you will not mind if I violently stick this pitchfork into your laundry? No, no not at all. Can we go now? Well, since your laundry isn't screaming like face cake, sure. My anti-Cosmo sure was right when he said you'd be so busy looking at the laundry basket, you'd never find to look under this thing. Oh, anti-Wonder, I do love you so much, but you are such a twit. I feel your pain. Yeah, well, prepare to feel my pain. Remember that unmentionably horrible job I said I hated? That job was being a magic key! Uh, so many dark locks, so cold, it's so cold! Yes, yes, let me summarize. Cosmo's an idiot, we're very lucky. Now, if Cosmo can stay at key for about five seconds, we can get out and find our doctor. Yeah! Oh, me, Lee, letter G, magic key! No one escapes Jorgen von Quack! Ah, my figigly gland! I must find the anti Jorgen! Dr. Studwell, we're here with Anti Cosmo for the transplant! Fantastic! I've got good news. And bad news! And more good news. The first good news is you just made it. The bad news is we don't have time to get to the hospital. Oh. But the other good news is... I'm a fairy doctor! You might want to look away. If I don't make it, stay away from my wife! And if I do make it, take mine. <sighs> well, Doc? I've got good news, bad news, worse news, and horrible news. The good news is the operation was a complete success and Cosmo is going to be fine. Yay! Look at me! I'm back to normal! And I got this really cool scar! Ah! Hey! I thought you were cured! I am! I just never get tired of that! And the bad news is your insurance isn't going to cover this. Ah! The worst news is Anti-Cosmo has escaped. Ah! He's on my cell phone for Cosmo. And he called Collect. Your insurance won't cover that either. Hello? Yes, I'll accept the charges. Cosmo, old friend, since we both carry a piece of each other inside of us, I see no reason for us to do battle. But I warn you, don't look for me. I said don't look for me. Bye, Timmy. Bye, Wanda. Oh. Oh, no. Well, that was weird. For a second, right as he left, Anti-Cosmo sounded just like Cosmo. Yeah, you don't think that more than their forgiggly glands got transplanted. Oh, perish the thought. Clarice, when did you get here? Have you seen Wanda? No. Of magician. Ah, come back! Mr. Bickles? The great Bickleini? You'd have to be deranged to think he's a real magician. 
Hmm, top head, tuxedo, magic wand, cape. He must be real. <laughs> I must be deranged. He's clearly a fake. But somewhere around here, there are... Fairy Godparents! Ooh, a rabbit. That's original. Boo! That kid's balloon is right. This is lame. Boo! Hey, let's go to the Dinklebergs and watch Brittany Brittany. Wait, you haven't seen my closer. Now to grab the key of my teeth. Oh! <laughs> no, don't go to the Dinklebergs, please. Their childlessness will be our downfall. Oh no, we're losing the audience to the Dinklebergs. These people want a real magician and I'm going to give them one. But Crocker's here. You can't do real magic. <laughs> we'll be exposed. What if I wore a disguise? Oh, please, Timmy. You know that never works. Secret identities are... <laughs> Now let's make my parents less lame. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, put your barren hands together for the magic of the Masked Magician. I can't believe Timmy's gonna miss this. And for my first trick, Alika, I wish the audience was back here. <laughs> These readings are off the scale, and they seem to be coming from that child-sized buck tooth mystery magician in Timmy Turner's front yard! And for my next trick, I'll need a volunteer, like you! Person I've never met before? That fool! It's my chance to observe him up close! <laughs> He's stupendous! Amazing! <laughs> He's going to pay for ruining my dream! Hey, check it out! Some masked magician is doing some amazing tricks next door! <gasps> All right, I'm Brittany Brittany. I was four-time celebrity search winner when I was still a fetus. I can get them back. Turn up the lasers! Let's catch it! My eyes! Tour's over! Going to Vegas! Oh, masked magician, whoever you are, do something! Alika, I wish the plane would stop! That masked magician saved us! He's no magician, he's a superhero! A cute superhero. I'm trying to read. Oh, let me help. Wow, they're calling Timmy a superhero. Do you think he'll let all this attention go to his head? Okay, magical partners in crime fighting. It's time to fight for truth, justice. And if we see Francis, payback. Uh, I'm going to take that as a yes. Help! Help, help, help! A tornado! And I live in a trailer park. Oh, they told me this would happen, but I didn't believe them! Alika, I wish the tornado was gone! Help! Help, help! Somebody stole my purse! <laughs> Alika, I wish I caught the thief! <laughs> <laughs> But where's my purse? Is it right here? Help! Help! Mass magician, I knew you'd come to help me. Who did this to you? I didn't see. I don't have any enemies. Except maybe my sister Tootie, or my third grade gym teacher, or my old scout troop, or my ex-boyfriend Ricky. Alaga, I wish Ricky was safe. Or my parents. Or Chip Skylark, or my yoga instructor. Then there's that Mark kid from Europe, and... 
I think it's chintastic that you're moving up from sidekick to superhero, Cliff. That's the Mask Magician. Really? Because that's a dumb name. But full-time superheroing is not all fun and games. Can I get more oyster crackers, please? There will come a day when a supervillain will arrive and try and destroy you. And the cruel irony is that it will have been you, Cleft. That's the Mask Magician! I just can't get used to that. But it will have been you that will have created that villain in the first place. Surrender! Take this clown, for example. The bronze kneecap? He wasn't always a diabolical knee-themed villain. He used to be Ron Hambone, the third best highlight player on the South Shore. I'd entered a Cincinnati Celebrity Highlight Tournament. Hambone needed just one point to win his first, first place trophy. Not third place bronze, but first place gold. When he tripped over my rather impressive chin. Whoa! Day, I vowed that I would end the Chin's career like he ended mine. So I smelted all my third place trophies and became the bronze kneecap. <laughs> but it was an accident. Why didn't you just move on? Yeah, uh, well, because he never even said he was sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, all right, that you're still conscious. What? No tip? Here's a tip. Always bet on justice. You shall all pay. The Crimson Chin is right, Timmy. Being a full-time superhero is a dangerous job. Yeah, but my situation is totally different. It's not like I've created my own arch enemy. Well, well, masked magician. You think you get to ruin my dream? Let's see what happens to you when you meet the Hanker Chief. <laughs> and now, I will use this, the world's biggest chiffon handkerchief, to make Dimsdale disappear. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody save us! Look! Up in the sky! It's a bird! And look down there! It's a bug! Ooh! And over there's a squirrel! No! It's the masked magician! Mr. Bickles? Is that you? Oh, come on! You figured out my secret identity and you can fly now? Oh, that's perfect. Just perfect! What's with the big hanky? I'm going to make Dimsdale, the town that shunned me and embraced you, disappear! Wait! Nothing you can do can stop me! I just wanted to say I'm sorry. Prepare for suffocation by a giant, outdated cloth nose rag! <gasps> what? What did you say? I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to ruin your dream. I was just trying to help those child adult turners. Really? Geez, this is kind of unprecedented. My new dream was to wipe out you and the city in one handkerchief-themed death trap. I'll cut you a deal. I'll quit being a superhero if you quit being a supervillain. Throw in those white boots and a stage show in Las Vegas and you've got yourself a deal, mister. True. Oh, thank you for these great tickets, Timmy. Well, I know the star. Ooh, having a child is great for once. Well, Timmy, I guess you learned to leave your superheroing in the comic books from now on. Yep, and I also learned that sometimes I'm sorry can be the only magic words you need. Which reminds me, how'd you get Mr. Bickle this cool show? Ah, uh, oh, that's easy. Bickle's found the showroom. Beat it, loser! And we supplied the magic. But I'm sure Brittany Brittany's okay with it. Yeah, I'll bet she has no plans to take revenge on Bickles at all. Bickles, you might have ended my Las Vegas career, but now it's you who will be canceled by the Platinum Princess! My dream ruined! <laughs> Oh, well, guess I'll go back to teaching. Ah! Cosmo, knock it off! What are you having for
for lunch, Timmy. I didn't look yet, but I wish it was a triple-decker peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> ah! What do you know? The screaming lunchbox never disappoints. <laughs> Uh -huh. That's one sweet whip, yo. Hey, Chester, the cool is not for you. Last time I saw a limo that big, it belonged to that rich kid, Remy Bucks a Plenty. Yeah, what's the deal on him? All disappearing and stiz up. Stop that. Well, I don't know what happened to him. Remy Bucks a Plenty, because you have lost the magical duel to Timmy Turner, you lose your fairy godparent. AJ? Timmy? Yo, Rem Dodd, what's a 411? Yeah. Knock it off, Uncoolio. There's no way he can remember that I have fairy godparents, right? Um, not unless he saw your flashback. Guess where I've been? On an uncharted desert island. You don't say. Yes, just me and my parents. And now that I'm back, there's something I want to say to you in front of a lot of witnesses so everyone can hear. He's on to us. Run! <laughs> you uh, want to say something to me? Yes. Timmy Turner? Ow! I must apologize for my ghastly behavior toward you previously. Phew! You were wiggity wiggity whack, G. I asked nicely. I want to make it up to you. So I, Remy Bucks of Plenty, have decided to be your new best friend. So, what do you want to do first? Time for class! Walking is for poor kids without rich best friends. You rich? Nope. Let's walk. You ride with me. Well, it looks like we have some alone time. You want to talk about me and my needs? Uh, Timmy, come back! We need more special alone time and snuggling. There needs to be more snuggling. Uh, Timmy, where have you been? We were worried sick, and Wanda keeps trying to talk to me about her and her needs, and I don't care about any of those. What have you and Remy been doing all this time? After school, we hit the arcade, and then we flew to Hollywood to see a movie. After that, we drove go-karts to the Daytona Speedway, and then we had pizza flown in from Italy. Well, you know, we could do all those things for you. Not in public. That's why Remy's so cool. He has the magic of money. <laughs> Yes, you need snuggling and a new ball. Well, students, time for a joke. Have you heard the one about Timmy Turner thinking two plus two equals five? <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? <laughs> Not so fast, Denzel. The brilliant physicist Stephen Hawking? My old college roomie? Come to lord another Nobel Prize over me, I suppose. Actually, Denzel, I am here to prove that there are certain scenarios under which the use of pre-transitive imaginary binomials might lead to the result described by Timmy Turner. Two plus two equaling five. Wow, you hired a genius to prove me right? Thanks. No problem. Friendship has its privileges. Don't dread, Stephen, you're right. Of course, moron. Wiggity, wiggity, whack! You gotta admit, having a friend who can wave his money around like a magic wand is pretty cool. Where's Timmy? Ah! Nothing builds my appetite more than seeing Crocker humiliated. What you hungry for, Remy? I'm glad you asked. I'd fancy a T-bone steak and an ice cream sundae. Hey, that sounds good. Oh, huzzah! because that's exactly what my personal chef, Henri, is making for us. I guess I won't be needing this. Ah! 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 Hey, Timmy, did you hear the news? No. Your mom and dad are going out tonight and leaving you with a babysitter. So I guess you'll really need us to help you with Vicky, huh? No, not 
not really Remy took care of her. I'm Chet Ubatcha at Cape Dimsdale, where science will finally learn the effect of hammers to the head and zero gravity on evil babysitters, thanks to a considerable donation from an anonymous 11-year-old. Wilton, who is babysitting you tonight? Hello, Timmy. I'm your new sitter, Susie Califragilistic. Let's go bake some cookies while I do your homework for you. Hey, why so glum, honey pie? Timmy's life has been going great since Remy became his best friend. Oh, that's what I'm worried about. What if Timmy's life becomes totally perfect? He won't need us. Ah, never happened. Hey, let's not talk about your needs. Timmy, this is the greatest night of my life, and I get to... Could you lean to your left? Spend it with you. That's it. My life is perfect. Got a new best friend. Got the girl of my dreams to go out with me. Can my life get any better? Ow! Oh, sorry, Timmy. I'm not. In some cultures, a suitcase to the face is how you say goodbye. Really? Yes, goodbye. Yeah! <laughs> well, Timmy, your life has gotten so perfect that you don't need us anymore, so we're being reassigned. Could you guys hurry it up? The meter's running. You know Godchild is waiting. Goodbye! Yes! My diabolical plan worked! Ready? Box of plenty? Yes! And you're going to lose everything! My revenge is complete! Revenge? For what? How about stranding me on a desert island, for starters? I did that to help you get closer to your parents! Well, that worked for all of three seconds until... Oh, cool! A flashback! On that deserted island, Father discovered oil, and Mumsy opened a seaside luxury resort. Pretty soon, they were busier and richer than ever before. And this time, I didn't have my ferry, one decimo, to comfort me. That's your own fault! Hey, I was watching that! And how do you even remember all this? Jorgen von Strangle wiped your memory! On the island, a handsome purple coconut conked me on my noggin, and I remembered everything. Then I began to plot my revenge. That's it. Flashback's over. Cosmo, Wanda, I'm so sorry. Not so fast. Wandissimo! You've returned! Yes, I am here to tell you that I was that handsome purple coconut. I hit you on the head so you would end up here as part of my diabolical plan. Yay, flashback! You see, after you lost me, I handsomely and fabulously roamed fairy world living in shame for many months, doing various odd jobs. Then I cared how miserable you were without my muy muy machoness. My heart cried for you, so I decided to help you no matter what the rules say. So I gave you back your memory. So you can save Cosmo and Wanda, right? Alas, I cannot. Not so fast! Dragon Bomb Strangle? Yes. In fact, this was all part of my diabolical plot. You see, Juan Dissimo ended up working as a cook in my favorite diner, and he is the worst cook ever! My many passionate tears would sometimes drop into the food. So I concocted this plan so that he would go back to Remy and stop ruining all my meals! So do I lose my fairy godparents or not? Of course not! Yay! I'll get you through in this cab someday! Remy! You were very, very bad, and I should punish you by not giving you back your fairy godparent. But I have a better punishment for you. You can have him back. But he has to cook all of your meals! <laughs> Think of the stomach pain! <laughs> Finally, I can get good schnitzel again. So let me see if I have this right. It was Jorgen's plot to get one Dismo to plot to get Remy to plot to make me lose my theories. Not so fast. Cosmo, don't tell me this was all your plan. I said not so fast. I can't follow any of this. Now which one's Remy again? Goodbye. 
He's out. Where to all your mothers? Hooking! I checked the math! Two plus two isn't five! It's six! Six!